the welterweight action here moving forward. Alex Brown in the all black. Renee Peter Pan Perea. Oh, wow. Coming out swinging. Having enough time to set this one up. No need to. Perea in the maroon. Alex Brown in the all black. Both fighters throwing real leather here 10 seconds in. Right to it. Wow. I mean, the glove touch lasted a split second before Brown threw a strike. It's, it's going to be a good one. It's worth noting, as always, Alex Brown is a specimen. I mean, that guy, you talked about fast twitch muscle fibers and everything and with uh, Estefson before. If you've seen Alex fight, you know he's all fast twitch. Yeah, Alex Brown fighting out of the Five Borough Fight House, just 24 years old. Three and two, coming off a tough loss. And Triton fights 11 to David Rice. On that fight, he said, he just needed to pull the trigger more. He needed to capitalize on opportunities. Told me he's not going to let this opportunity go to waste. You know, that last fight of Alex's, he went against David Rice, who's a, a really, really excellent grappler. And, you know, he was just able to neutralize Alex a little bit and, and control him. And that's not easy to do. So, you know, I don't know if it was not pulling the trigger, but Alex is always looking to get busy quick, as you can tell by that glove touch. Yeah, as for Rene Pereira, 24 years old, Ultimate MMA, Queens, New York native. He said he's really well-rounded, doesn't want the fight to go to distance like we talked about, looking for a stoppage. One thing I notice here, ooh, big one-two out of Alex Brown. But Alex has his hands a little low. Nice left-right from Brown. Pereira follows it up with a knee. I'll tell you what, if, if you look at this fight based on body types, you would assume that Alex Brown is the, the right. stronger of the fighters. Here he comes with some shots. You're right, Dave. It's something that a lot of people do in the fight game, whether it's boxing or as MMA, is you kind of judge a book by its cover. You look over, Ever Renee Pereira, got the hair. You know, when you talk to him, he's very soft-spoken. This kid can, can, can fight. He can throw hands. And he looks just as physically strong as Alex Brown. He's pushing them around in there as yeah. well. So, as always, looks aren't everything. 30 seconds here in round number one. Been a lot of back and forth action. Not really controlled by any fighter. Right in on a, on a single. Maybe a, a, a takedown here. Oh, Alex Brown's on a guillotine here. He's on that neck. That looks deep. Oh, and he's got that it down. That is deep. That is got deep. And he's tapped. tapping. That's it. It's wow. all over. Alex Brown is your winner. Moves on to four and two. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout ends at 246 of round one by submission via guillotine. Your winner, Alex Brown. Here with your winner, Alex Brown, who very well be one of the most exciting fighters in Triton. You always bring it every time you step in here. And that was one of the most exciting guillotines I've seen. A little unorthodox. Talk me through that. Uh, nothing really. First off, I just want to say thank you to my coaches. Freddie, Eric, Mario, my coach back home, Lewis. I never thought I'd speak to you one more time, you know. But uh, I'm happy to be here. Listen, uh, my style never stays the same. I'm always evolving through the fights. And I'm, I'm bringing it. I'm bringing it. I told Chris, wait, where is he? What's next? Chris, what's next? What's next, baby? Go figure it out. Definitely. Thank you, everybody, for coming out. I want to be here. I love it here. This is my home. It's my cage. Let's do it. Give it up for a very excited Alex Brown. You win it by submission.